I talked in the last video about how I set up this hive here with some uh, frames that had some honey and pollen in them. I also put my little bee baits in there. I've decided this year to set both of my hives, love and joy. See my man working on his prize Belarus tractor back there. He's the stuff. Anyway, I'm going to set both of my hives, love and joy, on the same stand this year. I had one down past the grapes, way down there. You can probably see the black buckets. Where are they? Well, there they are, but that um, stand is not level, and I just want to see how they do side by side, if they get any bees at all. Uh, this one is completely done. I'm going to put the bottom boards back in, but I took the entrance reducers out. I'm going to put the bottom boards back in probably till the end of March, see if I can catch a wild swarm. And then little Joy here, I've chosen all of these relatively clean frames with just a little comb pulled. There's still a significant smell of honey and propolis. I just want to see if it makes a difference because I already don't have any bees. And if I don't get any bees, I haven't lost anything. And I don't want to buy commercial bees anymore because of me and a lot of my friends aren't having any luck with them. And it's just feeling like money flushed down the toilet and a whole lot more work than I want to give. So let's try it this way this year. I wanted to show you this little bait that I put in. I bought it from Leo Shiraskin, PhD. He was at Mother Earth and he is with HorizontalHive.com. He's from Russia and he's awesome. I've read this book that he has and it's just really great about keeping bees the natural way with no chemicals and no sugar syrup. So what you do is you take out this little dropper of course and your lemongrass and you get one of these baits. Now it says you can use one bait or two. I have lots of acreage and I don't know if that has anything to do with it but I'm going with two. I bought them for 10 bucks. It's not a huge investment. And so the directions say just to fill this up about halfway and cap it. And then we're going to um, stick it inside just above the entrance with a little duct tape. And of course the chickens have um, heard my voice and had to come up here and see what was going on. Johnny Cash, it's in full form of course. He's our beautiful guard rooster and he does such a good job keeping most of the hawks and other animals at bay. So I'm going to tape these just above the entrance like I did the others. Like I say, I don't know if duct tape is a preferred method, but I couldn't think of anything else that would be less toxic, so this is what we've got. And we'll just wait and see what happens.